Next then is uh, the little section that we do just to fill a bit of time. Getting to know you. Now I haven't written anything for this week because last week I wrote down two questions and I've skipped this section because we were running a little behind on time already. <laughs> it was that bad. So here, here's, here's the two questions. I'll give you both questions and I'll give you the answers that I've come up with. Feel free to ch chime in with, um, with your thoughts. What was the last thing that made you cry? And I'm a bit of a sucker for, for certain films and, uh, and, and things. Um, Tina. Now at the time, last week, at the time I was drawing up these questions. I'll give you the second question, like I said I would. If you could listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? So I'll, I'll go back now. So, so the last thing that made me cry. So last week I had an answer for this based on a film that I'd, that I'd re-watched uh, a few weeks earlier. And the film was uh, Carve Her Name With Pride, which is the story of a, a British uh, undercover operative during the Second World War, a member of the Special Operations Executive, which was a, a part of, I think MI6 at the time. Um, a lady called Violet Zabo, that was her married name, she was a widow. Her, 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 uh, her husband had been uh, killed previously in the war. And she went undercover in, uh, behind enemy lines in France as a uh, wireless operator, radio operator. And uh, at the time she went, the, uh, the network she was joining, the network of, of the resistance, had just been decimated. Um, the... Uh, the Nazis had found uh, a, a way in and had uh, extracted information from people and uh, decimated the network. So she went in at a really precarious time. And unfortunately, here we go again, look, just telling her story. Those brave people. She lost her life. And uh, uh, the film ends kind of with her tombstone and then with her daughter picking up... Uh, a medal from the uh, from the king. See, I'm a softy. Shit like that. So yeah, any of those films, anything about the special operations executive, um, and the TV series Secret was it Secret Army? I think it was called Secret Army in the uh, 80s. I'm a sucker for any of that, any of that stuff. And kind of on a related note, this one's a little bit silly, but uh, one of my favourite songs in the last few years, it got a little bit of stick at the time, because a lot of people misinterpreted it. A bloke called, I think, Omi, or Oh My, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, did a song called Cheerleader, which is quite upbeat and... and it's all about a, a guy singing that he thinks he's found himself a cheerleader. And people assumed sexism. Oh, he's found himself a young lady who with pom-poms and rah-rah. But that's... The video was a little bit that way. But the song wasn't really about that at all. The song was about a guy finding a, a woman who uh, supports him, pushes him forward, builds his confidence. You know, cheerleading in that way, in, a, in an internal way, within the relationship. Uh, building him up, telling him he can achieve more and he can do better. Um, but he got a lot of stick because, hey, cheerleaders. Um, so that's another one of those songs, and actually I do, I do occasionally tear up at that one. The idea of a lady kind of building her man up and uh, supporting him through hard times. And, uh, you know, a couple building a life together doing it right so there's me big softy tearing up at films and songs <laughs> like I said folks a little bit of a wuss really aren't I <laughs> switch back to where this week's page now join me on Sundays for Trampcast it's the weekly look at the successes, the failures, the happenings in my life as a, uh, a tramp, a homeless guy, a hobo, living in Torrevieja in Spain. 
It's at five o'clock Spanish time, Central European time. It's at 4 p.m. GMT, UK time. And 10 a.m. US Central time. Love to see you there, folks. Okay. Delta Mike, out.